Greetings and salutations, this is Imperator Vespasian bringing you another unit of squats, uh, space dwarves. These chaps are Hearthguard. Now the original squats I've already done a video on um, were converted from normal, normal dwarf figures. Um, not the new version of dwarves, but the old version of dwarves. These are the new version of dwarves uh, for Warhammer Fantasy. Um, so I had quite a few of those, so I've converted them to a sort of Imperial Guard type squat unit. That's how I worked it out. Uh, these guys, these are uh, effectively Space Marine squats. Which may make more sense in a minute when I've explained it to you. Okay, going way back to the heresy, you had various worlds, uh, such as the uh, various empires, such as the Aurelian... Uh, Aresian Technocracy, um, which had fully operational standard template constructs. And the reason the Aresians are most important is they had space marines. So you had the forces under War Master Horus fighting against other space marines who were from Aresia. And the, um, it took, took Horus about a year to defeat this tiny little empire. Um, it could well have been had the Aresians known of the Empire's fledgling state, um, it could have actually been the Eretians who took over the Empire, but as it was, uh, the Empire got there first, the Imperium got there first. So there's no reason that the squats themselves don't have something along the line, or didn't have something along the lines of the Eretian uh, standard template constructor, which created Space Marine Armour, um, which is basically um, defensive um, armor for use in really harsh environments. They're just in counter suits basically, they're not designed for war, but in warfare they do come in quite handy, they have a power pack and everything and, and, and the armor operates. So here we have the actual figures, I'll just run through these. Um, this is the a regular trooper, um, he's got bolt gun, um, probably standard template constructor from their own world. Um, or, of course, it could have been given to them by the Space Wolves, because these guys live within the Space Wolf Empire and consider themselves Space Wolf. They have the Space Wolf banners and everything um, insignia on their shoulder pads or their pauldrons. And so maybe they got them from the Space Wolves. But uh, So these are slightly modified with a, a dwarf axe head on the end. A bit like a bayonet, but it's an axe. Uh, this means that all the regular infantry effectively carry axes that are also bolt guns. Um, think uh, the um, Wolfbane spear, things like that, or, or the spears the custodies carry, uh, which are staffs, or power staffs, but they have a bolter fastened into. I, I think the I think they have a storm bolter attached to them actually. The um, the gold guys. I'm not sure. Um, so then we have another one. He's pointing. Um, the heads are used from the Space Marine box. These heads are from the Space Wolf box. I could have used the dwarf heads with the huge beards that come with the figures, but I thought the Space Wolves actually fitted in much better with the figures. So I did a bit of experimentation and I decided the Space Wolf heads were better. This is a sergeant. He's all adorned with sort of Space Wolf gear over his armour, but he's also got the dwarf banner. Um, for his individual squad. So that's his his banner with the twin axes and everything. Another trooper there with a standard space, but space marine helmet. And on the end we have this rather nice guy here with the oculus in his eye and he's carrying a melter. Uh, they're all equipped with um, space marine pauldrons Space Marine Arms, and Space Marine Helmets, and Space Marine Backpacks. Um, I've already done the videos on the unboxings, where I got the pauldrons and everything from, so they'll be in there. And the spare backpacks are from all the spare backpacks I have left over from the Assault Squads that we bought, because Assault Squad boxes have both the Jump Pack in them and the Normal Pack. So these are carrying the standard Space Marine Power Pack left over from the Assault Squads. All that being said, they are not technically... They can be cannon. 
they, you can consider them canon because the squats are still around in the 40k universe. But I'm really basing the rules for these guys on the Space Marines themselves. Um, so I'm classing them as basically space, uh, space Wolves rather than sort of Dwarves. Sort of. There's a bit of mixing up. So these guys are half guard. I've classed them as an elite choice. You didn't have things like elite choices and, and troop choices and heavy weapons choices. This is from the Compendium era of 40k which is second edition. I believe. Or is it first is that first edition of Compendium? Possibly. So these are Hearth Guard. Uh, Hearth Guard was one Hearth Guard Lord, which is equivalent to a sergeant in the modern Space Marines. So they have a movement of five inches, so I've taken an inch off their movement because they're squats. Uh, two plus weapon skill, three plus ballistic skill. That's actually a squat the, the, the squat um, Hearth Guard rules. Um, then you have strength of four, toughness uh, yeah, toughness of five, two wounds, three wounds for the Lord. Um, leadership of ten, three plus save because they're carrying Space Marine armor. So that's the overall rules for them. Um, they're equipped with, all of them are equipped effectively with Frost Axe, apart from this chap here because he's carrying a heavy weapon. Um, they've got Bolt Pistol. Bolt gun, uh, melter gun, uh, plasma, and smoke. I mentioned this in the other video. Squats live in sort of tunnel networks and stuff underneath their own holds or, or that sort of plot. Um, so they use plasma grenades because plasma grenades don't create a shockwave, so the, the tunnel won't cave in. And smoke grenades, which are mostly useless in a game, they just give minus one to enemy shooting. Um, because again it doesn't actually affect the environment around them. Um, they have Oath Sworn as a special skill which is re-roll any, any attempt to charge because they've sworn an oath to their lord to do something. Um, then you get Ancestral Grudge which means you re-roll any rolls to hit versus Eldar, Orcs or Tyranids. Original rules, it was only Eldar and Orcs. I have included the Tyranids because the Tyranids destroyed the squats for the most part, right? This is why the squats are here in the first place, because the Tyranids ate their civilizations. And for the hold, um, if five inches from an ancestor or a warlord, um, they may take the hit for the ancestor or the warlord. Um, I'll explain a bit more of that when I do those figures. Uh, but these are half guard, these are sworn to follow one particular law. Um, so these guys will accompany a lord on the battlefield and they have the ability to effectively jump in front of the shot to save their the, the guy they're defending from dying, basically. Um, which is a, a useful skill to have uh, and it will keep your lords alive for a little bit longer, but it does mean you have to kind of tie them to the lord and make them part of the same squad. And so that's pretty much a decent overview of this unit. So yeah, feel free to leave any comments. Um, it's taken a long time to design this army. It's probably taken about a year to build the whole thing. Um, and I, I did think a lot about how to do it and what I would there's the sort of things I would put in to make it work, and so I had to come up with a lot of the back plot and stuff. Um, already explained that. And I would really like to know what your opinions are on what we've done. So that's it. Please leave any comments in the comment section. Leave a like if you feel like liking the video, and share it if you think anyone else will be interested in it. So this has been Imperative Aspasian. Goodbye. <laughs>